big lockup for Tadej Pogacar, and he was not happy. He has something to say to Rafael Maika. I got the full ambient audio of what he said, so stick around for that in this video. Tour of Slovenia, stage three. We've got two main climbs, the Svetina climb and then the finishing climb to Jelce. It's about 2K, 7%. Could Bahrain put Pogacar under pressure? Unlikely. Anyway, you knew that they were chasing the break or pacing it with Rui Costa, with Micah in the leader's jersey. Pogaccio gifted him the stage the other day, if you hadn't seen it. And the roads got a little bit slippery. Summer showers, hot or warm conditions, but wet roads. And that made for a slick road surface. The first UAE rider we saw with difficulty was Rui Oliveira losing his front wheel, not on the white line either, just lost his front wheel in that corner. He's the only rider that went down with 26 k's to go before this Fatina climb, which is about 5.5 k's, 7%, and it was going to be the Pog Show. You see him coming up on the right-hand side here, whilst uh, Bahrain were trying to do something for Doman Novak, but he's just come back from the Giro. How tired he is, is he? And Pogaccia predictably decided to just ride away from everybody like he did on stage one, and he does it with customary ease. He's just too good for the competition. He looks, he gets a bit of motor help, admittedly, through there, but not that that really made a difference. And he looks back pretty shortly and he sees Morich is gone. Conchi, the Alpha and Phoenix rider, is trying to get there. And he looks back again, sees that Novak is struggling this time, who should have won the Fadaya stage if Bahrain had freed him earlier in the Giro d'Italia. Drops him, sees that's gone, and he goes into TT mode. And Novak pretty much cracked a lot. He went back to the previous group. Morich went into no man's land, actually trying to chase on his own. So Bahrain, a little bit confusing tactics, but I don't think any of the other their guys are really on their top shape. Paul double chasing, or double rather. And you see the face difference. Look at Mike's face on this climb. He's in the wheel of Pogaccio. Remember, Pogaccio paced 90% of this climb. Pogaccio's just like flicking the interval button because he's finished his training interval. They get onto this descent. It's slick. It's got tree cover. It's got dappled sunshine. And listen, Pogaccio's not like a nebbly going full gas on every descent. He's a sensible GC rider. You remember Stage 8 last year where he took all that time. He gave some time back, got caught by Mike Woods on the descent because he's not trying to break land speed records on the descents or particularly here and end his Tour de France. But you see here, a little wobble in the road surface there. He is, he's not going super slow at this moment and it is a technical descent. You see the YOLO guys uh, crashing already and here we go. I'll play the audio first and then we'll actually pick out what was said into this right-hander. So they're coming into a bit of a left right, but not a severe left, and Pagatcha locks up and fishtails a little bit with the rear tire going in, and that forces him straight. So at this point, he's basically now trying to break in a straight line going straight. Mike is just trying to avoid him, he goes super wide, and here he says. And it's difficult for me to pick out exactly what Micah said. I think what Pagacha said is pretty obvious. I think Micah said, I cannot move the back wheel or I cannot lose the back wheel. Something with he's just, he's losing his back wheel in every corner. So, and he was off Pagacha, even though Pagacha nearly crashed more. And you see, I think Poli going for some CX action. Uh, it's actually Micah who was slower on the descent. And Pagacha getting a little bit maybe frustrated because they're going slow. Like the group behind was... I think a minute at the top and they put in 30 seconds. Micah goes to the front with 11.8 and about 25 seconds later, Pagacha wasn't happy with his pace going to the front again before another issue. So they're coming into it. This is a more difficult right left hander. There's not much straight, and Pikachu is trying to break as much as possible on the straight. He is not willing to feather the brakes when he's actually turning on these tires. And so he's trying to do all the braking here. And then he comes in at a really wide as he's trying to break on this brief straight section into this left hander and then says, fuck these tires to Micah. So he clearly wasn't very happy on this descent. Fuck this tire. And I think UAE have changed to Pirelli tyres this year. They weren't using them last year. And at this point, Pagaccio's like, I'm not crashing out before the tour. 
I'm just refused to. I'm going to go as slow as possible. I don't care if I get caught. I'll drop them on the final climb anyway. But it even drops Micah. So Micah was having issues. Probably maybe doesn't know the descent. And they end up being caught by Nicola Conti. He catches them. They went so slow on the descent. He did a Morich, two Morich in the group, catches onto them. Pagacha begins pulling the flat putting Micah under pressure almost on the flat. Mohoric doing his best to disrupt the, the chase group for not really sure why. Pagansha drops Micah through another corner, and they get to this 2K punchy climb. There can only be one winner. Micah goes to the front on Pagansha's orders to give him a bit of a pacing for, I counted about 25 seconds before Pagansha decides to just step off uh, Conchi and right away for the stage win. So, I mean, he goes into the leader's jersey here. He wins the stage, but I think, there's more cause for concern for Pagacha here, like in a perverse way. Like when you look at the results, you think it's a magic day for Pagacha and UAE, but he's got to be concerned that that sort of thing on the descent, that can't happen in the tour. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. They had a COVID positive, I think, uh, for Mikael Bjerg, who's supposed to be an important ruler for Pagacha. Here she as well. So bit of a rough day for UAE, actually, even though Pagacha won the stage. 11 seconds ahead of Micah, 14 ahead of Conchi. We'll remember when Aru had to do a personal apology when he badmouthed his equipment. I'm not sure not sure you're going to make Pagacha do that uh, when he's slipping and sliding. I don't know. He goes into the GC lead seven seconds ahead of Micah. He's got this locked up, and Novak should hold on to third, although Conchi is looking good. But that's all from me. Mountain top finish tomorrow. Pagacha is about 99% chance to win it. I'll be here with the recap video and maybe some watts. Hopefully he goes full gas just to do some training. I don't know. We'll see. Until then, ciao.